got ourselves something a little different today. Leaving the tater behind, jumping in a rollback. Got a run out here to the interstate. Uh, got hauling an enclosed trailer. I guess didn't have the right size ball and found our nice smooth perfectly smooth glass like surface they call interstate 24 around here and uh, turns out it jumped off the ball so I'm gonna run out here once I double check and make sure this truck has the tri ball in it one last check that's why we look before we go. Sorry. Pretty sure. Yep. Ethan's got one. We'll take it. Ta da! Let me just go double check and make sure this style, this isn't the style we normally put in the truck. So, it's going to make sure it'll work on every direction in the underlift. We got her figured out. So. All right, I'm gonna let Ethan know I stole his, his hitch, and we'll get out of here. We're rolling up on our guy right here. There's probably what made the trailer fall off the truck. People don't care to slow down or move over. Nice car. So uh, I guess this is the second time it's happened on him. Uh, on this trip, ball's the wrong size. Um, I can tell him how to practice in a rollback, that's for sure. Um, we're probably gonna have to get the floor jack out and jack it up. What do you know? I, I don't know really now. Yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll get my floor jack out and we'll see if we yeah. can get the safety chains off and just get you out of the way and then I'll grab it and we'll get it out of here. You said you were gonna take it down to like a truck the center? The pilot's right here. Where they would have a ball that would fit it. Yeah, and they should have one in there. He said to like buy the whole, you know, assembly and everything. Yeah, it's just, you gotta, you got that big receiver, this is, so. This is, uh, but you should. He said it was a two and five sixteen. Yeah. Which would explain why the f it wouldn't stay on. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Go figure, you know. Well, let me grab my jack. Are those safety chains tight, or can we get them off? Yeah, oh, we can come off. But the the front of that roll up is. Underneath there, I can't pull up. Is this four wheel drive? Yeah, just kick it in four wheel drive. Kick it in four wheel drive and try to pull forward. I didn't want to keep that good. Yeah, know? well, it's on that hitch, so it's not going to hurt anything. You'll hurt the jack before you hurt that I hitch. Put the on the front of the trailer. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, the first time it went great. I mean, it was so good safety it. chains. Yeah, I, I mean, it's lucky that it, uh, it didn't hurt somebody happening. Twice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, yeah. Throw, let's get out of here. Throw this thing in full wheel. Let's get it going. You're good. Go ahead and just pull up like 60 feet so I can whip around and get up here. Alright, I'll probably have to jack it up. I don't think I can get up underneath no, I don't that. Think you're good. I'll work from the non traffic side here. No, not really. I normally do our heavy duty. I run our rotator, so I don't get out and do rollback stuff like this much. Nope, not quite. No worries. Oh, this one. Yeah.
turn that head for me? Just turn it. Just push it in toward this, toward me. Yeah, push it this way. Nope. This way here. I, I didn't understand. No, no worries. Just follow me, because this is an aluminum trailer, right? Sir? Aluminum trailer? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, I don't have a way to put a light on the back, so. I'll just pull up around you, and then you follow me, okay? And we're going to go to the next exit, yeah. make a left, and go right to the pilot, all right? Yeah. Just make sure that got locked in. It did. All right. Should be good on clearance. All right. Sweet. You want to run up there and see if they got a hitch for you? Yes, sir. Two and five sixteenths. Yeah. And then uh, if they don't, we'll have to figure out where to go. Let me so. see what this. Uh, I got a it's a, it. It's a two. It's a be a two inch receiver tube. Is if you want to use do? the insert, if it's uh, without it, it's two and a half. So just get a two inch yeah if you if yeah, yeah you got the insert so we use on, on our, our yeah service vans yeah so yeah you'd be fine just a getting a regular inch. two yes, inch sir. yep do i need to get any more drop you think uh i don't know how it was sitting on your truck it was sitting pretty high pretty high yes. if they have like a six inch drop that'd be ideal what is that like a two two or four yeah i don't know what point you stop it at okay i'll be right back all right I'll be here. So uh, we uh, had to make a little little sight change. Take him over to Wally World here, where he could get one. Pilot didn't have a hitch receiver, so he's about to get hooked up to her now. And then uh, there it is, right there. So Ethan's literally in here editing this video, and I was talking in the video about this area being bad for trailers. I don't know if I can zoom on this. But that guy right there just lost a ladder out of his trailer. And where I just picked up that trailer is right over top of that hill. So I heard it happen. I ran in here and I was like, Ethan, I need my camera. Poor guy. I need to add that. But uh, the stretch I-24 sucks. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you next time. Okay, bye.